a stash of denim jeans that you've been hanging on to to make a denim quilt? Don't know what to make? Hopefully, I can inspire you to create your own awesome quilts. I'm always seeing quilts that look great, and I wonder, what if I used old denim jeans? Grab those je denim jeans. Welcome to Sew Denim Quilting. I'm Glenda Burton, and today, the question is, how do we go from a pile of jeans to a pretty quilt like these? Make sure they're washed and clean, and then we get to cut them up. Today, I'm going to show you how to go from a pair of pants to jean material that we can use. And these are a pair of small kids' jeans that I'm going to cut up. We'll need our je clean jeans. We'll need, I'm going to be using a rotary cutter. I'm going to be using a ruler and I'm going to be using scissors. Now for me, I like to cut up the seams. Inside seam first. As close as I can to the seam so they can get as much material as possible. There we go. Seam. So just take your time. Okay, now when we get up to the crotch, we're just going to go up the crotch and as close to the zipper as we can get. Some people, some people like to keep the zippers. Um, I just, I haven't figured out what to do with them yet. Um, so I just put them in a box and then I get rid of them to whoever wants them. Okay, I'm going to cut to the side as close as I can with my scissors. Okay, I'm going to do that to the other side as well. We have one leg there. Let's cut this leg. And again, I'm just cutting as close to the seam as I can. That way I get the most, of, the most material I can get out of a pair of jeans. Bigger jeans, obviously, you can get bigger squares and you get more jeans. Another thing you can recycle is old jean skirts. They have a lot of great material too. So if you're looking for bigger squares, like 10 inch squares, I would recommend um, large jeans. Open. Now I'm going to go up this side of the zipper. And I'm kind of trying to fold back the extra material so I'm not trying to cut through several layers of jeans. Because this stuff is not easy to cut through, even with sharp scissors. Okay. And I kind of keep moving it around based on how it's comfortable for me. Our seams opened up. Now I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to use the rotary cutter. I'm going to cut off the hems first. So I'm going to take my rotary cutter and my ruler. I'm just going to line them up. Now, I'm going to lay this out and I'm going to go up the side of it. You can either go up the inside or the outside. I'm going to go up the, this outside one because it's easier to get next to. You could use your scissors, but this goes a little faster. Side. 
Now, I'm going to go ahead and cut up the inside here with my rotary cutter. Flip it over. I find that flipping it over you can see the edges better. Now you can cut from either side you want. I'm just going to start with. Let's start with this side. And if you want, just so you have kind of a guide, use your ruler, or you can just run up the side of it. Sometimes I just run up the side of it, but today I'll use the today I'll use the ruler. Gives me an extra edge. Okay, well, for this one I'm going to take my scissors and cut up the rest of it. Because there's a lot of a lot of bulk in here. It's just easier if I use my scissors. Now, now some people take and take and rip out the seams and, and take the pockets off. Um, I leave the pockets because I have some other projects I'm, I'm going to do with my pockets. So there's two one side of it. There we go. All right, we've cut them under, we've cut off all the seams. And we now have four legs, usable material. And then if you want, you can save the seams and do something with them. I'm still looking for a project, so if you've got a project in mind that you look that I might be able to try. I got lots of seams to work with. 
Okay. Next, I will, in my next video, I will show you how I cut up the jeans into use actual usable squares. This is one pair of kids' jeans, and when we go to cut them down into squares, it looks like some of them we might be able to get are... Seven, eight, nine. Ooh, these are. I might be able to get a nine, nine by nine out of the the back legs, and the front legs. We will be able to get at least one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Approximately seven inch, a couple seven inch by seven inch squares to work with, or you can cut them down smaller if you want to, and. The only waste so far, or maybe not waste, we have our seams and this little bit left of the jeans. Some people do use the waistbands for different things. Some like to use the zippers. There is still some more material that I might cut out for, the, I might be able to get some like two, two and a half inch squares out of. So there's still a lot of material I can use.